everybody, Metaz here. Today we're checking out the Tonex pedal from IK Multimedia. And the Tonex pedal is an Amplify simulator pedal. Now, unlike previous amp simulators, the Tonex works with AI or machine modeling or AIMM, artificial intelligence machine modeling. So let's uh, try the Tonex with uh, the Fender guitar, the Gibson guitar, and maybe some bass and see if we can get some realistic tones with the Tonex. Let's take the tour. Right, so first a big thanks to IK Multimedia for sending over the Tonex pedal. Aside from that they have no say over the content of this video. So what you first notice when you boot up the Tonex pedal is that you get this warm orange yellow tone on the sides of the pedal. Which gives you the impression that this features real tubes inside. But it's obviously just some LED lights. Right, so let's just walk through some of the presets of the Tonex and hear how it sounds directly out of the box. Let's begin with the first preset, UK800, which is basically a GCM800. Let's uh, pull down the volume a little bit. It's at four. Yeah, so personally I feel the Marshall vibes here. Now what do you think about this GSM 800 replication? Right, so if we want to change something on this sound, like adding a noise gate for example, we can do that directly here from the interface of the Tonex. If we look at the parameters we have access to by default, we have the gain, bass, mid and treble and volume. And we can obviously change presets and also change the different models on this specific preset. And if you look below the knobs here, we can change reverb, compressor, noise gate, presence and depth. And to access the parameters below the knobs, we need to hold the parameter button. So let's hold this one and you see that Alt lights up here. That means that we control the bottom row here. So let's add a little bit more reverb. To switch between different presets, we can obviously use the foot switches and it works like this. We can either use the ABC here to select the presets within a single bank. And uh, we're at bank zero, so the preset, the first preset, second and the third. And now to walk to the next bank, we press these two buttons at the same time. And we go to bank one. And we can select the banks within bank one. And then continue like this, uh, upwards and downwards. So let's go back to bank zero and select the next preset. A beautiful, a beautiful sound in that preset. As you can hear, changing the guitar pickup on the Fender Plus changes the guitar tone quite drastically. Right, so let's go to the next preset. Right, 
right, so let's give that a little bit more compression. And uh, we're at the Alt menu, so we can change the compression easily here. Maybe add a little bit more noise gate. Let's uh, change the gain a little bit on this preset. Right, so let's go to the next preset. The 5150. And as you can hear by default, we don't have the noise gate, so let's just activate the noise gate so we can get a like tighter sound. I actually recorded this old embracing riff with some drums, so let's take a listen. Right, so with my old band Embracing, we actually made uh, plenty of recordings with the 5150 back in the 90s. So I can definitely hear the similarities with the real uh, PV5150 and uh, the sound, the model sound here in the Tonex. So. so let's try that with the Gibson guitar. Yeah, so you can definitely get the fat tone when you play with the humbuckers and a Gibson guitar with the tone X here. Back with the Fender guitar, let's switch to the next preset. This time I'm gonna use the preset knob. Okay, so let's uh, fiddle with the model here, so we can select uh, between different um, amplifier models on this same uh, preset. So let's press this down, and it's uh, currently at uh, bright and old. If we make a quick jump into the manual of the Tonex, we can see what the different colors on the display here means. And uh, if it's black, it means that the uh, amp is bypassed. If it's uh, yellow, the amp is an amp tone model. Green is a stomp plus amp, and the uh, blue is uh, only a stomp tone model. Right, so the Tonex also comes with a software. So if we quickly make a jump into the software, we can more easily see which types of amplifiers and models we actually play. 
So here we first have the uh, Eric is rocking. So we can see to the right side here which type of amp uh, this uh, preset is uh, based on. So this is an orange uh, Thunderverb 200. And at the top of the interface we can deactivate and activate the different uh, effects, compressors and amplifiers and, and cabinets. And we can always swap out the uh, impulse responses or IRs if we dislike uh, the tone model which is uh, for this specific patch. So let's uh, test the VIR instead. Yeah, so that's a pretty dark sound and what I found is that uh, not all presets and not all models is gonna suit your playing and your guitar. So what I personally do is just select another preset which suits uh, my guitar and my playing better. Yeah, so there's over like a thousand different um, presets here and, and models in this uh, list. But uh, right, so if we quickly jump over to the collections tab here, we actually can see a little larger overview of uh, what kind of amp models we have available in the Tonex software. So there's everything from modern boutique amps. So if we click one of these, we will jump to that specific uh, filter and we can see only that uh, Soldano Slow 800 and different presets for that one. Let's jump back to the collection and um, go to the British use, the orange Thunderverb. And then we can obviously make changes to the different parameters of, of this specific model. So let's change the gain. So as you can see, there's a plenty of stuff to explore in here and different um, amplifiers to, to try out and a whole bunch of, uh, of models to try out. The scooped sound of uh, the dual rectifier. And then there's also the Tone X Max, which uh, contains uh, more variations, I guess. So let's see uh, if we can load up something from Tonex Max, maybe uh, some of this, uh, the Tweed Second, which is uh, Fender 59. Right, so finally my conclusion and impression of the Tonex. I feel that I can get uh, really great uh, tones with the Tonex, especially uh, clean tones and uh, like uh, mid overdrive. And also that 5150 definitely sounds like uh, the good old the PV5150 amplifier. Now the only thing that I really missed here on this pedal 
I mean, it features a reverb, and it would have been really, really sweet to have a delay on this unit too. That said, I know that IK Multimedia have a dedicated delay pedal in the same series as uh, the Tonex. Right, so if you're up for buying the Tonex, please use my affiliate link in the description, and that way you also support my channel at the same time, and it doesn't cost you any extra. Right, so that concludes this review of the Tonex. If you have any questions or comments, again, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching today, my name is Matthias, bye!